Our society is absolutely addicted to disposable wipes and paper towels, and I hope to convince you that it's worth and possible to change the sides. I know that cloths are not really related to drinks, however, you do make coffee and tea in the kitchen and spills happen, so hopefully I won this argument. My journey with fabric towels started off with this cute bear-shaped kitchen tower holder that was a perfect fit to my forest-themed house, except the fact that none of the store-bought kitchen paper towels actually fit in there. I was about to return it, but then I saw this absolutely adorable bees cloths on Etsy and oh boy, I was hooked because bear and bees is just the perfect combination. The quality of the cloths is also amazing. I have them for over eight months now and they are still very bright. They are also well sewed where none of the buttons have fallen off and no holes are appearing anywhere. I got the ones with buttons where you have the same buttons on two sides and then snaps on the two opposite sides. I recommend going with the double bamboo inside as they are quite thick and absorb liquids very well. The inner side is super soft and it does not leave any bits of fabric which makes it really great for cleaning glass. The way that it works is that you simply need to button them together on two sides and that's it. It's very easy to button and unbutton them. So this is how it looks like when they're all rolled up on the kitchen tower holder. And let's face it, it looks so much better than plain white paper towel. It's basically kitchen conversation starter with the guests. There is a gap between the bear and the beast towel. However, this is entirely my fault. I fear that the cloths would get stuck if they would not have enough gap and one centimeter turned out to be too much room. The way I like to clean is to button the opposite sides so that the cloth forms meat-like shape with the white inner part being exposed and then I just insert my hand into it. That way you have full control of the cloth and you will not go back, I promise you that. For those who have second thoughts, I am just showing you the absorption capacity of the kitchen paper towel and the fabric cloth. I just pour the same amount of water into the plate. The paper towel is immediately over soaked while absorbing perhaps 50% of the water. With the fabric cloth, on the other hand, I was not only able to absorb everything from the plate, but also dry the plate and the water spilled around it without the cloth actually dropping water. And that just speaks for itself. I use those for water spills, cleaning outsides and insides of the cupboards, mirrors around the house and anything else really that does not leave too much stains. Now the rest of the cloth system. I have three types of bigger towels. The first is for wiping wet and potentially dirty hands. The second one is for big accidental spills that stain a lot. And the third one is for wiping clean dishes that are still wet. One cloth of each kind is hanging under the kitchen countertop with a label on them so that it's easy to recognize which one is which for all of the family members. With this system, you will never find yourself drying clean dishes with the same cloth as your dirty hands when cooking. I am replacing them roughly once or twice a week, depending on what's going on in the kitchen. Then I have a set of cheap cloths dedicating to get properly stained. I recommend to get either dark or white cloths for this, as you either wouldn't be able to see the stains as easily or you can just bleach it. For big countertop oopsies, I just take a dish sponge and wipe it and then clean the countertop properly with the cloth, catching all the bits and pieces to my other hand. Just before throwing the cloth to laundry basket, I quickly use it to wipe the sink and tap so it visually looks more appealing without proper cleaning. Like I said, don't be afraid to get those babies dirty, that's their purpose. I tend to use white cloths for cleaning the stove as they have a good fabric for the job and are really cheap so I have more of them and like I said earlier you can just bleach them. I also keep in the basket a polishing cloth that I bought ages ago to polish the induction hob. Once they will use up completely I will probably just use the bees cloth for that. 
In terms of the products, I'm using a cover multi-purpose cleaner to clean the countertops. It's quite expensive, but after calculating, it's still more cost efficient compared to disposable cleaning wipes that last roughly a week or so. In the future, I plan to do my own multi-purpose cleaner, but I am not quite there yet. The key about the cloth system is that all the cloths and cleaning products must be readily accessible. As you can see, I have cleaning station with currently used cloths, additional cloths in the back with multi-purpose and glass cleaner on the side. It's an open but hidden space for maximum convenience but without destroying the feng shui of the kitchen. We are washing the cloths rather than disposing of them, so what's the system here? Firstly, you have to have enough cloths for two weeks, so that if you are slightly behind the laundry, it's not the end of the world. Secondly, get dirty cloth basket near you, because you don't want to run upstairs every time your cloth needs a vacation. I have laundry room right next to the kitchen, so it's easy for us, but if that wouldn't be the case, I would probably keep it somewhere under the sink. Preferably, you want to keep it in the open space, so if the cloths are wet, they can easily dry up. If any of the cloths are really wet, dry it up first, rather than throwing it on the pile and allowing it to rot. When it comes to washing the cloths, I usually throw all of them together, usually with bathing towels, depending on how dirty the cloths are in a given week. If it takes a long time for your laundry to air dry, one of the wool balls that help to dry the load might be a good investment for you. And listen up, you don't have to iron most of the cloths. Phew, less work. Just let them air dry the smart way. I snap two of them so that they hang in the middle like this and they don't have any wrinkles at all. The issue with my kitchen towel holder was that the pipe is very smooth and the cloths were sliding on it. If you do not have a kitchen towel holder, but you would like to get one, I would recommend getting one of the kitchen towel holders with buttons on the pipe so that you can attach the initial cloth to it. Mine hasn't got it, so I had to get a little creative here. I managed to hold it together through the use of some rubber bands. The thicker the better really, because they will stop the cloth sliding. And then I just attached some hairpins around the pipe. Make sure the hairpin is attached from this side so that it hooks and holds better and does not slide. Then attach the first cloth to it and just roll it up. There are also some techniques out there to keep the cloths unrolling nicely without the buttons too, so check it out. Once the cloths dry up, you just simply button them together and roll it up around the holder. Nothing too complicated. The only thing here that I would recommend is to attach 5 cloths together, roll it up and then attach another 5 cloths. That way it's just a bit easier to roll it up tightly. Don't get me wrong, we still have paper towels and wet wipes in our house. However, they are reserved for just 10% really gross things like rubbish juice, chicken juice and other horrible things. At the beginning you might feel the need to use paper towels or wet wipes because it's a habit but cleaning with super adorable cloths just makes the miserable experience of cleaning less miserable so after a while you will not be able to imagine going back hopefully i have encouraged you to make the switch and inspired you to introduce reusable cloth system to your own house if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe for more I have just launched Amazon merch with cute and funny t-shirts that you will definitely love if you are a coffee drinker, so you might want to scroll down to the description box and check it out. Have a terrific day and see you next Thursday day.